Okay, so now we want to do more algorithm analysis of this BFS ser uh, search algorithm. Okay, so the first uh, the first part of the code in the box, we just initialize all the nodes to be white and then set the du to be infinity, set the pay to be nil. So for this part, it's very clear that uh, it is O O V. So why? Because we are touching all the nodes, right? So depending on how many nodes we have, and then, well, that is how many iterations we are going to do. So the first iteration, that is a OV. And then for the line 5, line 6, and all the way to line 9, and they are all O1s. So uh, that's very clear because they are all primitive steps. And after that, we have a while loop. So for a while loop, the analysis could be a little bit hard because we have to figure out how many iterations are we going to do before that really ends because that is an indefinite loop, right? So my first observation is, well, uh, for the U, we are going to use the U to visit all the vertices. Uh, vertex. Of vertices and but for each of the vertex we only visit that once so why well the reason is well at the very beginning we enqueue the s which is the root right and then on the on the fly of exploring the nodes and for each of the node we dequeue eventually we will color that to be black so a black node won't be touch again or i can say the black nose won't be enqueued again is that right because we are only touching the white nose and when we explore a new white node we enqueue that and we, we color that to be gray but for if we see another black node and this means the black node has already been touched it has already been explored we don't want to enqueue that again so that's the reason i'm arguing that for the u it is it, it we, we will use the u to visit all the vertices and for each of the vertex we will only visit that once okay so the next one how about the v so for the v it will be for uh, uh we will visit the v for every vertex that appears it appears in some other vertices adjacency list well because for the current node u and then for each of the v in the adjacency list u we want to visit the v right so that the the total number of the v the total number of the v we have to visit what is it if we are using the adjacency list what is the total number of the V we have to touch. And that is actually the total number of the edges. So why? If you go to the go back and remember when we are discussing the storage as uh, a memory requirement of doing the adjacency list, that is uh, the theta V plus E, right? So, well, the total number of the adjacency of the U will be the total number of the edges or two times the total number of the edges depending if we are doing the directed graph or undirected graph. Okay, so let me repeat. So for the U, the number, uh, the total number of the U we are going to visit will be the total number of the vertices. And the total number of the V we are going to visit will be the total number of the edges. Okay, so, well, what will be the running time then? So we have, let me see if we can write here. So if we uh, visit uh, if we want to consider the first four lines of code and then that is OV and we have already discussed it. Okay, and then for those part of the code and they are all O1s. Okay, and then the next part we are using this iteration to visit all the nodes and all the edges. So that is OV plus E. Okay, so if we add those three parts together, so OV plus O5 
and then plus a O V plus E and then eventually we will get this. So that is the time complexity of the BFS. Well, uh, please notice that now we have some number of the edges, we have some number of the vertices. So we won't use the O N to express it. So instead, we have two numbers, the number of the edges and the number of the nodes. So we are going to express the time complexity of the BFS as the O V plus E and V is the number of the vertices and E is the number of the edges. OK, so the next part, well, for the BFS, it calculates the shortest path distance to uh, 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 to the source node or to the root of the tree. So we can prove that for each of the paths, well, for each of the node, since we have already built the tree, and then for each of the node, we can go back to parent, back to parent again, and eventually we will go back to the root, right? And this path from all the possible nodes to the root, that is the shortest path distance. That is the, the number of the hops from the current node to the parent, and then to the all the way to the root will be the shortest one. OK, and the next part, we also build a breeze first tree and the, we, we are generating a tree structure based on the graphs by keeping part of the edges. OK, and that is a breeze first tree structure. And as a result, since we have already analyzed the algorithm, so to build a BFS tree structure and then it uh, and at the same time calculate all the shortest path distances, well, they can be done with the O, V plus E type. OK, so that's the end of today's lecture.